Hi, and welcome back to Odoo. Building a shop using e-commerce has always been difficult, but now with a website, it's much easier to reach our potential customers. During some videos, I configured my website, and now it's time to add e-commerce. In fact, it wouldn't be a shop at all if I didn't sell anything. Creating a flawless user experience is key to maximize your sales. This is why properly managing my product catalog is important. The way I manage it in my website backend will impact the end user experience. The first thing I'll do is have a look at my product variants. Product variants are useful when eShops have products with different colors or sizes, for example, and they want to manage all of their options and combinations on one product template. For customers, it's a user-friendly feature that will allow them to group all of the linked products into one page and prevent them from searching too much to find the specific product variant that they want. So let's see how we can manage this with Odoo eCommerce. All right, so once we're here on our main dashboard, we're going to go ahead and install the e-commerce application. To do that, we'll enter the apps module and then search for e-commerce. All right, I've already installed this, but if you need to, go ahead and do that now. Then we're going to go to our website application, and the first thing we see here is our new e-commerce dashboard. All right. Um, of course, when you install this module, it is combined with website. So you won't see a new module on the dashboard, but you will see new features within the website application. So now let's actually go to our website. And what we will find is a new page that is automatically added once we have installed the e-commerce application. And that's shop right here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, edit the title of this menu item. Okay, I would just like it to say eShop. All right, and I'm editing the menu item, keeping in mind everything we've already learned about URLs. Now let's go ahead and look at the page. All right, so we're redirected right here. And of course, none of my products are published yet because I'm still um, editing my shop and I wanna be sure that all of my products are perfect and all of my variants are good to go before I publish everything. So um, this page that's automatically created for us is pretty cool because, of course, it looks a little bit different than just a standard basic page. We can uh, sort by here. We can do by price, um, name as well. However, we can also edit um, and add blocks to this page as we can for any other. But I really like what, they, what Odoo has created automatically for me. But I want to give my um, customers the option to maybe filter by category um, or some other things as well. So I have a couple of ways to filter right here at the bottom of the page. So I can activate these options, which I will do. I'm going to activate product attributes filter. So let's imagine that I have products made out of, um, well, I can give you this perfect example, aluminum or steel. They can go ahead and say, I only want to look for products that um, have legs of steel. Okay, um, and we will also say we want to um, allow them to search by category as well by e-commerce categories. So I've only created one category and I will show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video. But it's just a really quick way for my customers to search for products, okay? So maybe they just want chairs. They can click on this. And of course, the um, other filter that I have also selected remains. So now I'm just looking at chairs with legs of steel. If I remove this, then I will see all of my chairs as soon as the page reloads, just like that. All right, so that's really easy. Let's go back to all products, okay? And once we're here, I'm going to search for a product in particular, the old fashioned way through the search bar. Okay, and that's my lamp. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. So this product does have some variants. Okay, I do have different uh, materials for this as well as colors. All right, so I can see everything right here. Um, keep in mind, if you don't add a photo to the product variant, it will be the standard photo for your um, main product, okay? So, for example, if I chose uh, the color black and aluminum, it would still be this purple lamp. So just be careful about that. But I'm going to go ahead and um, edit this product and add a variant because actually I'm missing a color. I also sell a lamp in uh, magenta. So I'm going to go ahead and add that variant. So I'm going to click on this in the right corner and click on edit and backend. 
Okay, and I will add the variant quickly right here under the variants tab. Go to edit. I'm going to search for the color magenta. Okay, save. I have four variants. It turns to six right here. But although I sell this product in magenta, I don't have um, the magenta lamp with aluminum legs, okay, with an aluminum leg. So I need to exclude that variant. So what I'm gonna do is go to configure variants right here. I'm gonna go to aluminum and edit. So here I have exclude four. So I'm gonna add that right now. Exclude four, office lamp, magenta. Okay, so I still have the magenta steel lamp, but I just do not have the aluminum. So I don't want it to appear as a variant um, in my shop because I don't want to confuse my customers, of course. So let's go ahead and save this. Now we're going to look at um, our variants in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go to attribute values right here. And go to that color magenta that I just added to my product. And I actually want to add an HTML color index to specify the exact color that it is. All right, so I have it saved already. And save. All right, so that's just a really neat tool um, because it will be sure that my customers and even my employees know exactly the color of this lamp. Or when I say magenta, exactly the color that I mean. All right, now we're going to go back to configuration and then attributes. All right, so here I have all of my attributes. So I have legs, color, and duration. All right, so I can edit the way that these attributes look on the shop. All right, so I don't have to see a list in a particular way. Of course, um, right now I see my colors um, in the color type. So once I am on the product, I actually see the squares of the colors. However, I can also select radio, for example. So it's just a selectable list. And then I also have um, a select type as well. So it just changes the view of the list. Um, and it just gives you some flexibility as to how you want to present your um, options and variants. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this the way it is. And that'll go to configuration e-commerce categories. Now, this is where I created that category that I mentioned before. All right, so I have a category already created, which is chairs, but maybe I would like to have another one called desks. So my customers can easily search between um, either chairs, desks, or any other kind of furniture that I sell or product that I sell. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And actually, I'm also going to change the sequence. So my chairs was sequence one, one, um, meaning that I want it to appear at the top of the list. And my desks will go below that. Then I'll click on Save. Now to add this e-commerce category to the product, I simply have to go to my products. All right. Of course, I don't have any published, so I need to remove the filter. All right. I'm going to go to this desk right here. Edit. E-commerce and add that category, save. Now, once we're back on our website, we will see um, the extra category or the additional category on the left as well, since I have that option activated right here. Okay, when we click on desks, even if I have a lot of desks, I have only specified that category for the one. So it's the only one that appears here. So it's just a really cool tool for you. And as you can see, it's extremely easy to configure. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.